times the individual took off on foot and ran and officers gave chase. Uh, once they got him, got him in custody and was trying to detain him, so Mims could come and treat him, uh, suspect died in custody. Um, officers uh, notified Mims of what they were having and uh, Mims responded and uh, transported the individual to the hospital. Right now it's a white male, uh, 37 years of age. Um, this will be worked as a dual uh, investigation. It will be an internal affairs investigation and also an officer uh, in death custody. Right now we have our homicide, our crime scene out here working it uh, and also um, other uh, in internal affairs is out here also. At any point in time was the man in handcuffs? No point in time he was in handcuffs. He was not under arrest. He was uh, just we were trying to seek treatment for him because we could tell there was something uh, adversely wrong with him and we knew we couldn't leave him um, at this state without seeking uh, any medical treatment. How was he being detained while he was waiting for Mims? Uh, they were just holding him down by their hands, trying to uh, hold him down until they could get Mims here to treat him. Where exactly did that happen? It happened uh, behind the 1204 North Tyler address in the alley back there. As far as in custody, um, you said you never had him cuffed, but was was he in custody once, like at that initial time, and then you said he got away? Do you still consider that in custody, or did you uh, recapture him and hold him At down? the point where we were talking to him and had Mims come, and he, another officer came on scene, he took off running. So then we had to give chase to make sure we got him medical treatment. And at that point, when we, when we uh, caught him and held him down, that's when he was in our custody, and that's when uh, he died. I don't know. Uh, that is something that our internal affairs and our uh, major crimes detectives will look into to find out, determine who, what all officers were here. Uh, they will be interviewed. Um, they will be interviewed at some point by internal affairs. So we will run that dual investigation just to try to find out what all happened while they were on scene. But more than one involved in that? Uh, it was possibly more than one officer here at that time, yes. When you say holding him down, is that on the ground or standing up position? Um, holding him down on the ground. You mentioned he was hiring narcotics. Did not have anything to do with this? That's something that you know our detectives will look at. We'll probably send we'll send his body over uh, to the crime lab to be examined, and we'll also see if he had any narcotics in his system at the time. Were any narcotics recovered in the house? Uh, at this time, it's still early on in investigation, so they're still looking and interviewing witnesses and people who uh, may have heard something. What was his relation to that woman? Don't know at this time. Don't we don't I don't know at this time. Our major crimes detectives have taken him to the 12th Street location to interview him, so we'll find out more after that. What's the I don't know if you can really give a clear answer, but what was the circumstance behind the death? Are we talking like uh, like a cardiac arrest or stop breathing or what was what's the He stopped breathing at some point. Uh, don't know if it was from cardiac arrest or anything like that. More details will be coming out once once the investigation unfolds. But he stopped breathing during the time that he was being held down on the ground? Yes. Do you guys, are you one of the uh, stations that have like those uh, pins that you can give to people uh, in a, uh, overdose situations? And yes, we do. Administer? Yes, we do have the Narcan um, that we have used before, used many times and saved lives with. Uh, but at this time in this situation, I don't know if those officers had that Narcan on them uh, at the time. Uh, that's something that we'll find out during the course of the investigation. What's the status of those officers at the department right now? Uh, right now, uh, they'll probably be placed on administrative leave, uh, pending investigation, just to give them some time off, and then we'll go from there. Now, we arrest people that are on narcotics all the time. What was the decision process in getting this person some, like, men like uh, help as opposed to just bringing him in? Um, most of the time we try not to make an arrest on somebody that's high off narcotics. We tried it. We, the first part of it is we're trying to get them some help. That's the first thing we want to do to make sure that they're medically sound. And that was something that they were trying to do. They were trying to get Mims in here to evaluate him and see if he was, uh, what the problem was, see if he needs to go to the hospital. Right. Give us an understanding of how long this took. Because they got here at 405. When did Mims get here? I don't know the time period. That was, that, was, that is something that we'll release later uh, during another press release. We'll have to uh, get that 
time frame down when Mims had arrived on scene and from how long it took officers to get them there. Well, I understand the disturbance happened in the back area of the house, in the backyard? Yes, in the back in the alley area of the house. You know how the man was acting? Was he, I know you said he ran. Was he being combative at all? He wasn't being combative, but he obviously could tell something was wrong with him because he was erratic. He, his speech and all of that was slurred, and they were trying to uh, get him some help. So obviously officers felt like that he needed more medical attention than being arrested at that point in time because they were in the room and talking with them. Uh, another, like I said, another officer came up and that's when he took off running. And then that's when officers uh, gave chase after him. When was he, when did he, like, I believe he died? Was that, do you know what time that was? Uh, we took him to the hospital, obviously, because he stopped breathing at the point they were holding him down. Um, so at the hospital, he was pronounced dead. Okay. So he didn't die here, he died at the hospital? At the hospital he was pronounced dead, yes. He stopped breathing here, but at the hospital he was pronounced dead. Okay, was that like closer to six, was it five? Was trying to get the I, time don't, I don't know the time now. That's something that we'll have to uh, update you on here shortly. The amount of time he was being held down though, do you have like more than five minutes? Do you have any don't, don't have that at this time, no we don't. Is, uh, is it uh, clear if you guys have a uh, body cam of the incident or no, we don't have any. Like we don't have any dash cam of the incident. The, the cars that you see parked behind me were the cars that the officers arrived in, uh, and everything folded out in the back of the house in the alley. Any of those officers have body cams? No, we don't have body cams. Can explain uh, how many witnesses were there? Uh, don't know at this time, uh, because you had a loud disturbance. Uh, somebody called in and heard it, so we'll do a a door to door trying to see who was at home and see who heard something or see who saw something and then we'll take those witnesses in and, and interview them. So the initial call on the disturbance, have you guys uh, figured that out? Was Did you uh, make contact with that and uh, address that whole situation? Uh, have we addressed the witness that called in the disturbance? Or was there, did you find an actual victim of a disturbance, or the woman screaming, did, was that actual? Yes, we, we've, we've addressed all of that. Yes, we have found the, the person that was screaming, uh, and we're trying to interview them now and figure out exactly what spurred on all of this and what, what happened. Was that person also on narcotics, or do you have reason to believe? Don't have reason to believe that now, uh, that that person was on any narcotics. Yes. And it was the only other person at the house at the time? Don't know if it was the only other person at the house. Uh, we've taken several people in as witnesses, so once our major crimes uh, find out who was at the house and who was uh, outside or just came up as the incident was unfolding, then we'll, we'll know more. Do they both live there at that house? I don't even know if the gentleman lives there at this time. Uh, it, like I said, it's still early on and they're interviewing the witnesses that were here at the scene. Is this house, this uh, like particular area, known for disturbances? You come out here often? I believe we've come out here before for disturbances uh, with this house. Uh, I don't know how many times, but I've I've heard officers say we have came out here before. So is the subject relatively known to officers? Um, I don't know that. Not maybe not these particular officers, but I've heard we've came out here before. Okay. Good.